So in addition to obtaining the axial and coronal T2-weighted sequences, we also obtain a T2-weighted sequence with fat saturation performed utilizing fast spin echo, turbo spin echo techniques. This can be seen in this example over here. We perform these with fat saturation in order to provide greater tissue contrast. And this sequence actually takes a little bit longer to perform than the other TTO-weighted sequences, resulting in more motion artifact. As a result, you often have to do this sequence using respiratory gating, so the images are obtained at end expiration. But we like this sequence because overall, soft tissue contrast resolution is much better with this sequence compared to our single shot techniques. So how do I use this practically? If I see an indeterminate liver lesion and I want to get a sense of what its actual T2 signal really is, I'm going to be looking at the TurboSpin Echo fat saturated T2 weighted sequence. For example, if the liver lesion has signal that is very close to the CSF over here, I'm not going to worry about it. Most likely it's going to be a cyst or potentially a hemangioma. On the other hand, if the liver lesion has a T2-weighted imaging appearance that's similar to, say, the spleen, well, I know that it may be something benign, but it could also be something malignant and something I need to work up even more. In some instances, the TurboSpin echo sequence over here is replaced by an axial echo planar imaging sequence. The advantage of doing it that way is that it can be performed more rapidly, providing similar degree of tissue contrast.